Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at some of the problems you may run into when working with child components. Some of the problems you may encounter are unwanted reordering of your child components, child components becoming unresponsive, and child components not refreshing their data. There are several ways to get around these problems, but in this video, we will focus on solving them using WireKey because that will help you solve a lot of weirdness with LiveWire components in general. Let's have a quick look at the domain we will be working with. It consists of a project with tasks. This is the project table. It has a name and an active state. This is the tasks table. It has a form key or belongs to a relation to a project and a name. This entire form is the parent LiveWire component and these tasks are the child components. The functionality we want to achieve in this example is that the task name inputs in the child components should become disabled if the project is inactive. I've already written the required functionality, but for some reason it isn't working without a page refresh. Let's have a look at why LiveWire is not properly refreshing the child components. If I set the project to inactive and refresh the page, you can see all the child component inputs become disabled. However, if I use the switch, nothing seems to happen. But if we refresh the database, you can see that it was in fact updated to inactive by the form. We have run into two problems. First of all, as you may have noticed, the order of the tasks has changed. Let me show you again. So we'll set this to active again, refresh the page. We have Mr. Tony as the first task. And then we toggle the switch, and there he goes. He's now the second task. If you suddenly see the order change inside a loop, that is often a big red flag that LiveWire is having DOM diffing issues. The second indication that LiveWire is having problems is less visible. To see it, we will have to take a look at the network tab in our developer tools. Set this to active first, there we go. If we now start toggling this switch, we can see that only the first time we do it, there's actually a network request being sent. After that, LiveWire has basically broken down. When you spot these kind of issues, you have to know from experience that these issues often indicate a problem with your wire keys. The problem of them being that you do not have any. Let's open up our parent component and see how it actually renders the child components. The child components are rendered inside this loop. If you take a look at the troubleshooting section in the LiveWire docs, it specifies that you should use a wire key when you have elements inside loops. Let's give it a go. So we'll add our wire key here. And we'll use the index as our key. And just so you know, you can actually achieve the exact same thing with a different syntax, which is wire key. And then you use blade to render the key. I prefer this syntax, so we'll keep that. Let's refresh the page. If we now start toggling the switch, we can see that everything starts working. The order isn't changing anymore. The network requests keep firing. However, the tasks still don't become disabled. If you come from a few backgrounds, it's important to know that these props, the project and the task, are only passed in the first time that LiveWire renders the child component. So that the state of the project changes is something that the parent component knows, but the child component does not. LiveWire actually uses the key to determine if it should re-render the component or not. As the index doesn't change, we still have three child components, it sees no reason to refresh the child component. So how can we solve this? The approach we will use 
is that we will change the key when the state of the project changes. To do so, we'll actually add the active attribute to the key. So we'll go like this, project active. Also, in general, I would recommend not ever using the index as a key, but if you're working with models, always using the ID. And if we now refresh the page and start toggling, everything should work. Because now, every time we change the state of the project, that will in turn change the key here. And because the key changed, LiveWire will completely re-render the child components. That was all folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and see you in the next video.